What is going on you guys, this is Techie Chi coming at you with a brand new how-to video and in this how-to video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make an audio spectrum in After Effects and how to implement it into OBS Studios. Now I get questions a lot in both my streams and in my videos, basically when I made the OBS Studio and the XSplit uh, playlist people were asking me how I created the audio spectrum and how I created it with my favorite music and how I implemented it into the stream into the intermission because I feel like it looks really professional when you're in the mission and you have your social medias your sponsors that nice little background that you created and also the audio spectrum with the background music now it looks really professional and I want to let you guys know that I did not like teach myself on how to create the audio spectrum I learned from another youtuber from another video which will be down in the description below so that if I'm not that good at explaining on how to what to put and what type of numbers to add you could check out his video his name is Kyler uh, Holland and his video is really nice it's very descriptive um, he knows basically how to explain everything really well and his video the only difference from his video and from my video is that his video is like more for like to make videos for covers to add the audio spectrum for me it's to add them into streams and stuff like that so what we're gonna do very quickly is I just want to let you guys know again is that the music that I'm gonna be using is copyrighted that's why you're not gonna be listening to it because um, if it was non copyrighted you guys would be able to listen to it but the fact that it's copyrighted I'm not gonna be able to show it to you guys but it'll be down in the description below so that you guys can know what type of music I'm playing I'm playing like EDM for the background music in my intermission and the reason why I'm using copyrighted music and for my intermission is just because it's intermission so it's not like whenever I pull out uh, a video from a stream and I want to put it on YouTube it's not like it's gonna be in the background otherwise then I would get a copyright strike that's why I'm not gonna put it in the gameplay whenever I'm streaming it's just gonna be in the intermission so you're not gonna see it when um when it's in the video but you can see it when I'm streaming it's it's a lot to explain but the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna open up After Effects now yes After Effects is not free but it's the best way that I know on how to make an easy audio spectrum so now the thing that we're gonna need is we're gonna need to um input our music so it's right here festival mix 2016 it'll be down description below and this thing is like an hour and 30 minutes it says it right here an hour 32 minutes 18 seconds so now what we're gonna do we're gonna match it so now we're gonna go to new composition and then you can see right here let me put this in the center it's gonna be 1080p so it's gonna be 1920 by 1080p it all depends on how much on what's the resolution you guys are streaming on if you guys are streaming on 720p or 1080p I'm gonna be using 1080p and it's gonna be an hour 32 18 and this is 07 so this is the exact and I went so that's how it's gonna be we're just gonna click OK and this is gonna be a long time for it to export and now what we're gonna do we're gonna get the music and we're gonna drag it down and so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna right click we're gonna go to new we're gonna click solid and then it's just gonna be background because the thing that sucks with um, for some reason with OBS studios when you put a transparent uh, video or something like that it doesn't show for some reason I don't know why we're gonna make it black so that we could remove the background in um, in OBS studios a lot easier so now you can see right here I got the black background and now the next thing that we're gonna do we're gonna right click we're gonna click solid again and then it's just gonna be the audio spectrum and then you want to hit OK and then the next thing that we're gonna do we're gonna go to effects we're gonna go all the way down to generate and it's right here audio spectrum and then now what we're gonna do we're gonna mess around with this a little bit it's pretty easy so now we got the music so now we're gonna match it with the music so now whenever you move it you can see that it moves but not that much and so now next thing that you want to do is you want to mess around with this I like to put this at 1 from the video and then from here I like to put it to 1500 this I like to put like 500 and then this I like to put 5000 that's 500 and then 5000 there you go and then the milliseconds you want to keep it to 125 and then this you don't want to touch this you want to put to 5 and then this you want to put all the way to 100 and I believe that's about good now the, the colors that we're going to use is all depends on personal preference I'm just going to use red and I'm going to use blue as well like that and that should be about good actually I messed up a little bit this is gonna be 150 because you can see that they're all really close so we're gonna put 150 and now you can see that they're all separated 
So now the next thing that we're going to do, we're going to mess over here and we're going to put 180. So now it's like a nice rainbow effect. And so then what we want to do, we want to keep this checked because if you uncheck it, all of the colors will stay in place where if you have it checked, all the colors are moving and you can see it and it looks really nice. And then this, we're going to keep it to digital because if you keep it to analog, you can see it looks pretty cool. And analog's dots is like something completely different. It all depends on personal preference, but I like to keep it to digital. And then side A is if you just want everything to be on the top, you just want the frequency to be on the top. And side B is if you want the frequency to be on the bottom. We're going to keep it on the bottom because depending on my background, all my social medias and my sponsors is on the top. And we're just going to put the audio spectrum on the bottom. You'll see in a second. And so that looks really nice. And the next thing that we want to do, we want to add a little bit of a glow effect. So now you want to go to effects, you want to go all the way to stylize, and then you want to go to glow, and then we're just going to minimize this very quickly. Okay, so now that we have the glow effect, now that you want to do is you want to mess around with this. You can see that it pops out a lot, but we want to make it pop out a little bit more. So we're going to put 50, 150, and then we're going to keep the intensity to 1. And you can see with the black, you can see it pops out a little bit. It looks really nice, so I'll show you guys in a second. There's the effects not added. And then here's the effects as so really glows it really pops out which looks really nice so now what we're gonna do we're gonna export it now we have the file we have the music so you can see right here everything's moving it's matching to the music and so we're just gonna click file we're gonna export it render the queue and then now what we're gonna do we're gonna match it and we're gonna give it the best quality because before with OBS studios if it were to work with transparent background then we would have it to AVI and RGB plus alpha but because it doesn't work for some reason we're gonna put it to the best possible quality which is QuickTime and then it's just gonna be RGB we're gonna go to format and we're gonna make sure it's in H.264 and we should be good and then we're gonna hit the audio output to on 48 kilohertz and then stereo and then that should all be good AAC quality and then now we are set and then the next thing that we're just gonna want to do we're just gonna want to save it wherever it's going to be so we're just going to click here audio spectrum i'm going to click ok and this is an hour and 32 seconds so this is a really long uh depending on the type of music that you're going to be using and the reason why i pick like an hour and 32 seconds is so that whenever i go to intermission it's always a different type of music it's not the same it's not looping back and forth and then when it does end it just loops back but all the way to the beginning which is not so now we're just going to hit render and then I'm going to be showing you guys is how to implement it into OBS Studios and how to remove the black background. All right, you guys. All right, you guys. So now that you have your audio spectrum with your favorite music, the next thing that you want to do is you want to open up OBS Studios. So now what we're going to do is you have your scene for intermission. You got your gameplay and then here's your intermission. So now what you want to do, you want to add your image, your background that says currently offline or currently in intermission, your sponsors, your social media. So now what you want to do, you want to right click, you want to go to add and then you want to go to media source. We're just going to type this as audio spectrum. And then you want to hit OK. Then you want to go to Browse. And you want to go to where you saved it. Right here. And then we want to put it to Loop. You want to unclick this. Keep these two checked. And then if we go to Advanced. Let's, let's see what else they got. You want to put this to Full. And you want to hit OK. And then there it is. And then just to make sure we're just going to right click. Go to Transform. Fit to Screen so that everything is nice in the uh, in the screen basically so now the next thing that you want to do is you want to basically go to filters and you want to go plus and then you want to hit color key click ok and you want to go to key color type go to custom color select color you want to choose black because it's the easiest one to remove and then the settings that i have is 150 and then this the smoothness is just to one oh wait no actually it's up to about a hundred see that seems about good but you can see some of it peaks out so actually let's see a little bit more actually let's go 500 500 seems about good and then maybe 100 or one one seems about good then you want to click close and then you can see it's completely transparent so now what we're gonna do we're just gonna minimize this and we're just gonna match it to this portion and that seems about good just want to make sure 
and that seems about good so now that's how it's gonna look like when you're in intermission basically you got your audio spectrum you got your social media you got your sponsors and you got your little logo that says currently offline or currently in an intermission be back in a second and you got your background music playing with the audio spectrum and it looks really cool it looks really professional so there you guys have it i hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know down in the comments below on what you guys think about this also for if you guys want to know the type of music that i'm going to be playing during intermission it'll be down in the description below and also if this video wasn't that great in explaining how to create an audio spectrum in after effects and you can check out the other video which will be down in the description below so there you guys have it hope you guys enjoyed the video please like comment subscribe follow me on facebook twitter youtube instagram and twitch as always it's techie g i'll catch you guys in the next video peace